Hi everyone, this is Amber. Today we're gonna to be talking about all things fall fashion for this upcoming fall season. Consider this as a guide, if you will, because we're going to be talking about a couple of things. So first we're gonna be talking about some fall trends that I've been seeing around. We're also gonna be talking about some recurring trends from the previous fall season. I'm also gonna show you guys some fall pieces that I've been loving lately. Okay, let's talk about some upcoming fall trends. I've been seeing this piece almost everywhere on Pinterest. It's this off-shoulder sweater. It's basically a sweater that exposes your neckline and your arms a little bit. It's just so, so cute. I would probably pair this with a mini skirt with some knee-high boots, wide leg sweatpants. It's not really oversized and the length down here bunches up for me. It's a size small. I forgot to mention that it's actually from H&M. I know you're probably thinking, okay, Amber, that's not really practical and that's true. But we need to save some room in our closet for some cute, unconventional, fun pieces. So this is it for me. Next item on my list isn't really an item, but it's more of a shade slash color. Maroon. It's not a particular shade of like brown or red. It's just maroon. Like it's, it's just maroon. But I'm loving it. Like it's so fall. It's giving like leaves are changing color. Like this is everything fall has to give. Like I know fall is all about like browns and like orange, but maroon? Like, I feel like this should have been trending like way, way, way before. Anyway, so I have a pair of knee-high boots here from... Where did I get these? Just give me a second. I need to check where I got these from. Here we go. It's from Vince Camuto. They are incredibly high quality. They're sturdy and I do love this chunky heel right here. You can see how great a quality it is just by the base. This is really important when you're looking for boots because you have to make sure it's thick enough so that the bottom doesn't get ruined as easily. A lot of the times we see really thin soles and over time it gets worn out really, really fast. I really appreciate these because these are relatively thick down here. You know this is gonna last me for a while. So on the topic of maroon items for fall, I have this bag from Pullen and I love this so, so much. It's durable, it's spacious. I'm gonna show you guys something so you can use it like this but you can also twist the ends here and it becomes a little like dumpling bag almost it just cinches up like this because there's magnets on the side and it just looks so cute it's just like a completely different bag another reason why i love this bag so much is because it comes with this little pouch I feel like i can just put all of my necessities in here if i don't want it fumbling around in the bag so just have like a couple of lip balms in here i use Carmex. have a dior lip glow with three spoolies because i do get lash extensions it's kind of random there's so many in there i have my chanel healthy glow luminous color in medium and then i have some iron pills because i am anemic going back to this bag it just screams fall it is so cute so practical and i love this so much all right, so the next item I want to talk about is something that I unfortunately don't own and I don't know if I'm going to pick it up, but it's denim skirts. Not just any denim skirts, but the ones that are very, very long. But they are so incredibly cute with cropped leather jackets, with their hair up in a slick bun, maybe with some boots. But do you know what denim skirts remind me of? They remind me of my music teacher I had in elementary school. She would wear denim skirts all the time. She would wear them with like these really thick, kind of like chunky, um, sandals back in my day. All right, so I have two more items on my list. So you've probably been seeing this around everywhere, especially for the spring season. They're Adidas Sambas. These are definitely one of the issues, and especially in the green shade, as well as blue and red. I really want to get my hands on the blue pair, but these are just really, really nice basics to have. Great if you're walking around on campus and you don't want to wear like boots all the time, and if you just want something really practical to throw on and call it a day, definitely these Sambas would be your best friends. Lastly, for shoes, I want to talk about Mary Janes. I don't own these unfortunately i'm kind of on a hunt for them but they are so incredibly cute and i feel like they're very intricate like you don't really see them around they don't really make an appearance because they're just very classy elegant shoes that you wouldn't really wear on a day-to-day -day basis but i think if you are working in the fashion industry or if you have a 95 or going into the office these might be really practical and also stylish for the office it's also nice because they mimic like, flats, like business flats, business casual flats. It's kind of like a crossover between flats and loafers, so I feel like these would be really nice for the office. There's a couple of items I want to talk about that I consider as recurring trends. Number one on my list are boots with kind of like a thin-ish heel and also that point toe look. I know we've seen chunky boots for many fall seasons now. Wait, I actually have a pair or two. Let me just grab them. So this is just a pair that I have from Revolve. It's simple 
black leather boots with that heel and pointed toe which i think is the ultimate factor i feel like these are timeless pieces as well because sharp toe kind of signals a more like classy vibe so i always take them out year after year next up we have uggs these are the uggs tasmans i had these since last year and they're definitely still trending right now i'm also seeing a variation of different types of colors i think it's called the like the chestnut color something like that it doesn't ship to where i currently live but i would love to get my hands on a pair future amber here i actually picked up a pair of these uggs at my local browns so i've been really happy with them and they're so cute these are just really nice to have if you want something that's comfortable that keeps your feet warm especially when it comes to like walking around campus um it's really important that you're always warm with a lot of other comfortable wardrobe essentials such as white leg pants jeans and sweatpants Okay, my second to last item here that I feel like is a recurring trend are oversized leather jackets. So heavy. I have two here. These are incredibly heavy, especially this one. Oh my goodness. So this is a black oversized leather jacket. And this one is a brown one. This one is a lot lighter. I actually thrifted both of these. And that's a huge tip I have when it comes to leather jackets is that you will find the best leather jackets at a thrift store. I don't know why, but I think there's something to do with the quality of the leather and the fact that it's already been worn in. It always sits so nicely on the body. Their jackets have always been a trend. I feel like each and every single fall season, it's just, it's always been here, whether it's an oversized form, short form, it's always here. So I feel like all of these pieces, I gave us a good idea in terms of what we can expect for this upcoming fall season. I mentioned with the oversized leather jacket, these are trends that we see over and over and over again. These trends sometimes are pretty versatile in terms of which season you can wear them for. You can start building your wardrobe with just these pieces. So. So that's all I have for fall trends. Next, let's look at some of my favorite pieces for this upcoming fall season. All right, so I actually have a coupon for this thrift store. So we're gonna go thrifting, get over here. Shopping cart secured, this is our fit. Um, I actually picked up quite a bit of things and I didn't end up getting a lot because I ended up trying some and just didn't look that good on me, um, including this sweater, super cute. Okay, this is super cute. I love this cherry red for fall, but if you look closely, there's actually like small bits of hair. Anyway, back to shopping. I saw these um, really interesting boots. They're interesting. I didn't get them. I feel like when you go thrifting, you really have to try on these items just because they look good. When you see it or when you hold it, doesn't mean it'll look good. You like this was no, no. Anyway, we're just checking out now and I'm going to do a mini haul of what I got um, a little bit later. Okay, we just finished. I think I was in there for at least three hours. And I think part of the reason why I spent so much time is because I have a 20% off coupon when you spend $50 and I was literally at $40. Do another round and hopefully I hit 50. Did the calculations, put the tax in and it was at like $53. So I was like, okay, I hope it's like after tax that it's above 50 bucks that they can then take the 20% off as opposed to pre-tax, you know what I mean? So, cross my fingers, went to self-checkout and it worked. So I got 20% off. We're gonna go find some food now. I think we're feeling Viet. There's this really, really, really good restaurant. There's one closer to our neighborhood and there's one here. So we might go there, but we'll see. I don't know yet, but. Okay, so we are back home and I'm wearing this really cute, cozy crew neck sweater. It says Georgia USA on it, even though I am Canadian. But anyway, let's get right into our mini thrift haul. So the first thing I picked up actually reminds me of Gossip Girl. It's this cute cream sweater. It's got a really interesting collar with these black stripes. It also has this cute button detailing. And I think this is just so cute for fall with like a skirt, boots, you know the drill. There's no brand or tag on it, I think, from when I checked. There isn't, but I got this for around $10.99. Super cute. We love her. Okay, the next thing I got is actually kind of random. It's this white skirt, but I feel like this is an undergarment. So I feel like it goes underneath your dresses opposed to a skirt on its own, but I do feel like I could wear it on its own. I don't know. I haven't been even tried this on yet or anything, but it's super comfortable. It's lightweight and it's cotton. This was only $2.99. So the next item I got is an actual skirt, black fluffy skirt. I really like the details of this. It has like that wretched look to it. I've actually worn this already with like a leather jacket, um, some tights and boots. Um, it says size medium. So that's good to know. I think there is a tag. What is with all these 
clothes with no tags on them. But this was $10.99 and oh, I totally forgot to mention, but this is actually a skirt. Okay, this is the inside. This looks so awkward and it's actually a skirt. All right, I have just two more items here. So the second to last item is this white sweater. I actually don't own anything like this, so I'm really excited. It's quite heavy, so I'm hoping it can keep me warm. I think this was also $10.99. Everything that I got, honestly, was like $10.99 or $11.99. Okay, last but not least, and the item that I'm most excited to wear is... Oh, that, that's the back side. This cherry red sweater. Look at the sleeves. I mainly got this because of its sleeves. Look at how gorgeous that is. It's just so elegant. It's just so classy. I love this color for fall. It's a nice bright cherry red and I feel like reds are really making a statement this fall season. It does however have a hole at the back. I'm not too against it but let's just pay attention to the sleeves. It is beautiful. I love this so much. I am not too sure if there is a tag. Oh actually there is. It says Grace Chow. So excited to wear this. It is so elegant. But yeah that was the last thing I got. I couldn't film an outro because my camera battery died, but I just want to thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you got some inspo from it, either an outfit idea or some other inspo for fall. And ultimately, wear what you want at the end of the day. Trends are just trends. They're not the end-all be-all. I think what's most important is to wear what makes you feel most happy and confident in at the end of the day. And that, trust me, matters so much more than some trends. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!